listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Dr. Vivian Moore. I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope you had a good week. Um, I don't want to hold you for too long today, so we're going to get straight to today's show. All right, the title of today's show is Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and the topic is Beware of Scammers Posing as Publishers. Um, Today's topic comes from the 1988 uh, above-titled movie starring Michael Caine and Steve Martin, Uh, Two con men divesting wealthy women of their money. They were despicable (laughs) characters. They truly were uh, with the diabolical skill set, a fictional farce that translates to real life and not so wealthy everyday individuals. Today's scammers are far more brutal about how they infiltrate the lives of unsuspecting victims by using clever cloaking as talent scouts and brand marketers headhunting for movies and television development opportunities. So just beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. Maybe you haven't been approached yet, but you should be aware of this not so COVID operation. All right. Uh, They usually seek authors, uh, mainly indie writers, looking to impact the publishing world um, any way they can uh, to get a foot uh, through the door, all right? So, you know, it may look enticing and it may sound good, but, you know, just just stay open, okay? So just listen to me a little bit more, all right? So these are the perfect targets for said scammers. Uh, looking to trick their way straight to the bank <laughs> with your hard-earned money or those authors that fall for uh, the ploys that, uh, you know, that they use to get you uh, to believe they're a scam, all right? So you might have already been the uh, recipient of unsolicited emails touting your latest art passwords, uh, inviting you to submit your manuscript to major streaming networks or television uh, for review, If not, consider yourself fortunate and savvy enough to trash them, even if you don't already have a scam folder uh, made just for these types of junk mail. I promise you every day uh, when I go into my email, the things that don't automatically make it to the scam, uh, to the scam pile, um, it, it, it loads up. And so of course I delete it or I send it straight to, you know, to, to junk mail because that's where it belongs. All right. So I'll admit it does sound promising. Um, you know, some of the emails that they send you, um, you know, telling you how great your, your book was or whatever, but beware anything that sounds too good to be true. Well, (laughs) more times than not, it is all right so i mean who doesn't want that first breakout project touted as a potential uh creation for a movie or made for tv extravaganza you know we watch netflix well i watch netflix all the time and uh, a lot of the films a lot of the movies that they have on there um i've read the book so it can happen but it has to happen in the right fashion all right Although most of these emails that land in your inbox are scams, uh, there are legitimate opportunities out there and they don't and they won't approach unless for reasons unrelated to scamming. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm not saying that, that this couldn't happen, that you, you know, you might receive a, uh, a legitimate email from, uh, from a publisher or someone who works in television, uh, programming, uh, reaching out to you because they've heard about your book. All right. So, you know, just check them out. Just don't believe the hype, check them out just to make sure. 
and and you'll recognize the real ones because you can Google them to view their credentials and submission process. Because most uh, major uh, publishing houses that um, that um, promote uh, writers to submit their work for television or or movies. Um, you can Google them and, and it'll tell you everything that you need to know about that company and, uh, and how to submit your work to them. And first of all, they won't email you or ask you to pay some exuberant amount, uh, to get your manuscript before producers, uh, looking for new and innovative work for their next project. Okay. Trust me, this is not how it works. Um, you know, you can pretty much talk to, um, any individual who have gone through this process and they'll tell you that that's not how it works. Um, you know, if you have an agent, you know, they, a lot of times they will, you know, submit your work to, um, to, uh, to producers, movie producers and those types of businesses that are looking for, um, new books or something that's exciting or books that's, you know, this hit the best selling list. Um, the, to, um, you know, to, to hype these movies, to get them to, I mean, to hype these books, to get them to become movies. So, um, so it's out there. Legitimate ones do exist, but I'm just mainly talking about those who are scammers and that is their business. They do this, um, professionally. Okay. And, um, it's just what they do. They, they go out and they Google more, most likely they Google authors and they um, look at their work because they most of the time, you know, they'll they'll tell you the name of your book and and all of this, and and then they'll tell you that that they can get your book before producers um, that could possibly uh, land you a contract, you know, for a movie deal or whatever. So um, just do your homework. Um, that's very important, you know. Don't don't fall for the okie doke because. Um, uh, of people who want to steal your money. Basically that's what they're doing. And, uh, and I mean, and if you, if you fall for it, uh, give them money to just because they said that they can do this doesn't necessarily mean they, they can, or they have no intentions of doing it in the first place. They just want to see how gullible you are by submitting or suggesting, uh, that you, uh, pay them to, to do this. So, um, you don't have to pay anyone, uh, for any producer that is interested in your work, you can just submit your work, your book to them. And if they are interested, they will contact you. Trust and believe that's how it works. All right. And for those of you who may need to hear this today, I don't know who, but being successful does not mean that, um, or, or having notoriety doesn't mean that you need to get your book before, uh, a, a, a producer or whatever, you know, you are what you are. You are a writer. Um, otherwise you wouldn't be doing it. Okay. So, you know, you don't, you, you are worthy. You are worthy. And, uh, you know, even if your book does not become a major motion movie, um, you are still worthy because you are who you are. You are writers at heart in your soul. That's what you do. And, um, uh, and your work, I mean, that is your accolade right there. And, uh, you don't need people trying to, you know, trying to pet up your ego and things like that by sending you these emails and, and telling you that they can get your work to, you know, to Hollywood to, for you to be the next, you know, best thing like sliced bread or, or apple pie. You don't need that. You can do that on your own. Or if you have an agent, they can do that for you. All right. So it, it's good to be eager. It's good to be excited about what you do, but just don't get taken uh, for granted for individuals that, you know, that's, this is their business. This is what they do on a daily basis to try to reel you in. So I don't, I just don't want you falling forward. This show today is informative, just like all the rest of the shows are, but, um, also it's to, um, inspire you to give you hope and to encourage you to do better, you know, because I understand the excitement behind a chance to make all your dreams come true. All right. And they still can, but there's no need to pay some company you've never heard of before to do it for you. So beware of scammers posing as publishers on any level. Chances are they're scouting for any opportunity to make their dreams come true at your expense. All right. So that's all I have for you today. But before I let you go, I want to make sure I give you these URLs so you can stay in contact with the show. And of course, the first one is to Spreaker. 
And it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian e. Moore. Excuse me. Okay. I had to take a deep breath there. Okay. And you can also follow me on all social, social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, but Instagram is by invitation only. All right. And you can also check out my website that is at HTTPS, uh, um, author Vivian or author eh shepherd.com. Uh, you can also check out my blog that is at https colon four slash four slash um author Vivian E dot All right. And uh and if you missed today's live show you can listen to the recorded episode any recorded episode today's and all the ones that came before uh, of course you can listen to it on Spreaker um Apple Podcast Spotify iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Deezer, Podcast Attic, Podchaser, YouTube, SoundCloud, Giles Saving, Audible.com, Verbal, spelled V-U-R-B-L, and Luminary. All right, so those are all the places where you can um, you can listen to Book Chat. Um, if you missed the six, 6 o'clock live show, you can listen to the uh, recorded episodes, um, each and every one of them from years ago up until today. All right. So tomorrow is worship day. Every day should be worship day, but Sunday, uh, is the day set aside for us to get together, uh, and, uh, and, um, and just have a good time in the name of the Lord. All right. So, um, if you are back in the brick and mortar buildings, just be safe. Make sure you wear your mask. Make sure you're social distancing. Doing all of those important things to keep you safe and to keep you healthy. And if you're still listening to the shows uh, via uh, Facebook or 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 if any other medium that you're using to um, to to reach out to listen to um, you know your pastor and and the congregation. Um, then by all means, continue to do that and also invite others to listen or to actually come out and, and to worship with you, um, you know, at your church home, if you feel comfortable doing that. And also, um, remember to tell people how you feel about them. Um, because tomorrow is not promised today may be the only chance you get to do that. So I love you. I hope you love me back until the next time you hear my voice. God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.